scenes from 2020 protests in Portland are hard to forget. The destruction and violence caught the nation's attention, changing downtown to this day. During this time, the Portland Police Bureau was hit with lawsuits over their use of force. One officer, who was part of the Bureau's rapid response team, which worked during the protests, faced a fourth-degree assault charge for hitting a photographer in the head with a baton. That charge was ultimately dismissed, and he publicly apologized, but it prompted the entire rapid response team's resignation. A city audit later found shortcomings in the Bureau's response to protests. Twelve recommendations came out of that report including creating a new crowd control unit. That unit, still called Rapid Response, starts team training this week. Here are some of the new members at a Thursday morning press conference. They do represent um, you know, the best of the best that we have. 42 existing officers and eight sergeants make up the team. Many of them responded to the 2020 protests. My belief and my hope is that this time around, as an organization, we will do a better job supporting them in the challenge that we're asking them to take on, as well as as a community. A civil rights attorney at the Oregon Justice Center who represented some 2020 injured protesters is cautious of the return of the rapid response team, telling KGW in a statement in part, quote, we're going to be repeating past mistakes and people will be hurt because of it. And, and really believe in the uh, importance and purpose of, of maintaining public safety, uh, peace and order at these events. I think that's our overall uh, um, motivation and goal. Uh, to returning to this team. Each member will wear body cameras and get a pay raise, costing the Bureau an additional $380,000 a year. They are required to go through 96 hours of yearly training, focused on de-escalation techniques and use of force, among other things. Our expectations are high. We expect officers to embody their training and engage with the community with integrity as well as with resolve. This all comes at a time when political protests are making a slow return to Portland streets and as the community braces for the upcoming election season and the potential for more violence. Freedom of expression is embodied in the core of our city's character and we all value the sanctity of those rights. But these rights are not without limits. They are not a free pass to cause destruction. All right, city officials are also calling on the community to, their, to do their part, too. They say this is not just a Portland Police Bureau issue. The mayor is asking people to demonstrate passionately but peacefully. The rapid response team begins training together tomorrow.